Hi, Luke from Korg here in the studio with Megan O'Neill and the amazing Nautilus 88 key version. Hi guys. So we're taking my song Wildfire today. This is a song I've already recorded and released and we're taking some of the original stems from the studio session and leaving a load of empty space and filling that space in with sounds from the Nautilus. So we've kept some of the vocals, harmonies, a little bit of percussion um, and some guitar parts and we're going to fill in everything else. So Luke's going to play it for you now and as you can see there's, there's loads of empty space to fill. Yeah, so here we have the sort of chorus we section with some vocals so and backing vocals and then later on we've got in the middle eight the bass comes in and some guitars so it's a bit of a fuller mix there but still some space for us to work with so what we've done is we found this really nice synth sound called velocity filter low pass filter and it um, works particularly well with an arpeggiator as well. I mm. think it's going to work quite nicely with this, this song. And we can latch that as well if we want to. So we can go into our drum and we can see we've got different scenes. So we're on scene one at the moment which is doing this alternate pattern which is just going up and down. But if we go into scene two, this is the one we liked. We found bell phrase seven. It's a little bit slower paced and just has a different feel about it, which kind of works with this song, we think. Yeah. We can also latch it, like we said. Yeah. We've, got, we've got, also got these great real-time controls where we can start shaping the sound a bit. Maybe add some effects, delay, a bit of reverb. So let's have a go at recording that in. So I'm going to turn on the ARP, turn on the latch, back to the beginning of the song, and here we go. So I'll record that again. So we've got that MIDI section yeah. down. Let's just have a quick look at it in the piano roll and quantize it. So we should now have it turning it up. And that's bang in time because we've actually clocked the tempo of the Nautilus via USB to Logic. So it knows we're working at 140 there. So this arpeggiator pattern will play exactly in sync, which is really cool. Of course, we've got our real-time controls, which we can add as well. So we can actually record those in as a MIDI track. So um, in the same MIDI track, we can record and almost perform that in. So let's hit record. So I can start opening up the filter. kind of feel your way through the track. So we've got, and yeah. you can see all that automation appearing there. And that feels like a really natural way to do it. Definitely, using that, yeah. you know, you can perform it much more. Yeah, and if you want to, you can see that automation. Oh, great. So you could go in and re-edit that, or you could have it more linear, kind of sloped if you want to, but you can see how many changes there are there in that, yeah. in that, in that what I just did, so it's really cool. So once we're happy with that, we can then stamp that as audio into an audio track. So the way that we do that is we can solo the track, turn off the click, arm this track as well, 
that's now bouncing that to audio to logic all through the USB port. So this is acting as a USB MIDI and an audio interface as well. And you get those nice cyclic changes we did with the filter that. as well. It's really nice to watch it, the way yeah. the curve moves. So that's that kind of phrase done. And what we can do now is if we want to, we can we can chop the audio. So um, the song starts in bar three um, after the little intro. So if we chop that audio, we do a copy into bar 19, which is the next section, and then another copy. And then we should have, if we unsolo it, and we can mute the MIDI track now because we don't need that anymore. Mm -hmm. We should have our full mix alongside what we just recorded. It really suits it. It does, yeah. yeah. It's really cool. <laughs> so as we just step through this song a little bit. We've got that same section in yeah. these. Okay, so there we go. We've taken uh, a part of Megan's song, Wildfire. We've done our kind of own version of it. We've added in an amazing sound from the Nautilus. And uh, yeah, we've ended up with quite a nice result, I think. Mm. So yeah.